All right, we're at the portal. Last time I kind of screwed up with the um, <clears throat> with coming here. This time, hopefully, it will not be the same. I will uh, crush whatever I get through or get to in here, and hopefully, um, we'll see what the um, optional or the other thing if you like uh, get to the end of this. So, blah blah. He's that foot on the house land of volcano. Doom of the world. You are sent to the child scar of the heart of which lies a huge volcano. In the age of pyre, it destroyed the old church of ruins that stood there, absorbing much of their lame magic. This place is still full of the power, and orcs tend to absorb the power using the staff of absorption. Whatever their plan may be, they must be stopped at all costs. The volcano is attacked by orcs. If you sometimes may be made it there and with you, they will hold the line to cost their lives. If buy you some time, honor your sacrifice, and not let the arms finish your work. Alright. So. I'm gonna just use these uh, willy nilly, but basically, moving infusion. And we're gonna run through a volcano! And of course, none of these guys are getting hit by the damage. Because, you know, they're all fire mo monsters. This is where that um, other infusion would be useful. The regeneration infusion, which I don't longer have. Well, move infusion. Do that. Do him with this. And that. There goes the Pharos. It burns! I do have the right ammo on, right? Yes, yes, I do. And I'm gonna need it for like everything in here. Twilight. The only bad thing here is I really can't rest. There's a phase door run. <clears throat> run, 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 run. All right, right here. Zap. Zap. I don't know why I killed it, but okay. Zap them. Zap them like it's hot. Burst of speed! I've only got 428 turns to go. Sounds like the garbage truck is outside. Pow. Pow. Boom. Davion's coming to save the day. I'll get closer. I don't want to leave anything behind, too, because this stuff might um, 
close up forever I do. Chasing me and all that. But I probably should think about uh, what they might drop, so. Getting some nice stuff to drop, though. Um, go like that. Pin them. And that. <clears throat> this is a lot easier than I expect it to be, but I've only got so many turns and I don't know how long this passage is. Log growth. Do this. Do that. Boink. 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 Full speed ahead! Boink, boink. One, two, three. And we got our first fire worm. Zap, zap. This is the nice thing about the huge line of sight. I just hit myself, didn't I? Ow. Do this. Let's uh, blast him like that. Blast him like that. Charge up. And we'll just start zapping you. Step forward. Zap. 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 Oh, I'm taking lots of damage here. Heal. I'm sure stepping forward there is the right idea, but whatever. I'm stepping forward for other reasons. Pin him. I've only got 250 turns, so this is actually kind of difficult. Perhaps. Eh, that's no good to me, that heroism infusion. Do 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 do. Whoa, you ran up right up to me. It's confused. Oh, you hurt me a little bit. I have to remember I'm taking damage constantly here. Okay, he's out of the way. Oh, these items have dropped. Is there anything good that dropped? I've got this. Um, that's not terrible, but not really what I'm after. Maximum life, maximum mana, maximum stamina, maximum hate, maximum sight, maximum dim. Very interesting. So that's basically a help you with whatever you do type of idea. Grant slap of a human or orc. Changes stats to 10 decks and pre con. Heals friendly targets nearby when you use a nature summon. And that's a kind of interesting type of thing. I'm actually going to keep this, I guess. 
we'll keep we'll call this um humanoid detection uh I don't think I'll be changing that actually. You know, this is all some nice stuff in here. All right, well, that's a good little look at some of the stuff. Onward. Book it. Bloodstone. Zap. Zap. Do that. Ah, will burn on me. Charge. Heal up a little bit. Charge up a little bit, charge up a little bit. Fast forward. Um, I might keep this for the strength. But you know what, at this point, if I need strength, in, um, strength at all, I'm actually thinking about this. Basically, this is like a nice thing for strength, but I don't really use strength, so. We'll get rid of that. And I'm not going to worry about, you know, strength items at this point, because I'm like too far into the game where it really matters not. You know what, we're going to put um, this on. Move, move, move. A greater Pharos, or an ultimate Pharos, rather. Ow. Well, I'm going to burn for a little bit. Hey, I think we made it to the end, with a, a few turns to spare. Alright, let's heal up a little bit. Race through the fires of Charizard to stop the sorcerers. Well, that would have been a nice achievement to pick up. Here's the Pharos High Guard. Pharos are highly intelligent fire elementals rarely seen outside of volcanoes. They are probably not been to this world. This one looks even nastier than those uh, looks towards you with uh, seems to be a stain. Flames swirl all around him. Alright, well, what am I going to do here? Um, I assume that this guy can hit me regardless of where I uh, silence him or not. And he can burn me like crazy. So, that's that. Let's, um... Drop this on. He did an acid wave. I'm not sure how hard he hits, but let's do this. Pin him to the ground. 
Heal up. Ow. He hurts. I might just book it in a moment, but we'll see. I might be able to kill him, so I'll try to. Do this, and he's already on top of me. Hello. Can I confuse you? Not sure if I confused him or not. Don't think I'm blind him here. I'm pretty sure I can't stun, confuse, or do anything to this guy, so... I should focus on damage, damage, damage. Hmm. Ow, 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 ow. Let's see here. I want to... Let's book it over here. There he is right now. Hello. Let's go here. Maybe I'll knock him back, we'll see. I wish I could drop that down, but I can't really. Let's go like this. I'd be in the burn. Step out of flames. Heal up a little bit. I can't pin him to the ground, which is kind of annoying. Can't hit that without him myself. Alright, ow, ow, ow. Let's uh, put this on. Heal up. Let's actually put this on. Do that. And that. Hopefully that'll help a little bit. Because he's really pour pouring on the damage on me. I don't have heroism on at the moment, so I have to watch that. Uh, let's move here. He actually moved up for once. I was actually going to move him in a fusion way if I had to, but I won't be able to do that now. Of course, with him out here, I can do this. And that. Heal up. Punch that up a little bit. Ow. He's actually running away, I think, at this point, because he's taking so much damage. So... Him with that. Him with that. Yeah, he's definitely running away. Let's, um, pour on damage, I guess. He cast Inferno on me. I'm still healing a little bit, though, so I'll take it. Uh, charge this up. He's fallen. So, I race through.
So this is all the stuff I got. I don't see anything really in here that was, you know, worth keeping to me. There's a nice long sword. There's the core of the forge. All right, so here's the plan. At this point, I'm actually to basically walk through the charred scar. I'm going to actually book it back all the way up now. And the purpose for doing this is I'm going to basically get back to the Sun Palace, say hi. I should keep it on this screen, this hockey screen. I'm basically booking it all the way back to see if there's any loot to drop from the Sun Paladins or see what happened to the Sun Paladins. The timer, the timer seemed to stop as soon as I uh, basically um, got there. So I guess I disrupted it. The ritual or whatever they were doing. Like a good little enough for I save the gates in the morning. Because you know it's my home. Book it! Book it! It's a long, long way, isn't it, to get through the charred scar? I actually assume the game fit charge card is actually kind of easy. I mean, melee classes would probably be able to rush through it like crazy. Okay, these guys are all up here. So they aren't dead yet. And there's items dropped, so there's a good thing I came back. For some reason you rushed. Okay, these guys can rush or something. I don't know why. Uh, let's charge up. Heal up a little bit. Blind. Pin them. Back up. Pop. 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 One item! I came back for one little item! Ooze rest. Alright, well, there we go. I managed to uh, clear out the charred scar completely. I, f I forget. Basically, if your generation room is stop, they slow while you're in super fast mo mo moment move or whatever mode. The faster you're moving, the slower your uh, time based stuff uh, occurs because you're slowing down time, I guess, when you're using movement infusions. I'm not sure the movement infusion is actually helping that much. I mean, it seems like every time I step on the floor, I take damage. We actually, I won't bar. We'll just run. Just keep running. Never stop running. All right. Well, I stopped the. Uh, Accursed sorcerers from doing whatever they want to. 
power this up just in case I need it. And we're out of here. You enter the swelling portal and you blink an eye, you're in the back of the Far East. Let's go in here. So I've done the charred scar. I wonder if it means I'll, uh, I'll have to fight Aaron at the end. You know what we're going to do before we do anything else? Let's just look at the uh, arcane ruins and all that stuff. So, there's a control phase door here. That's crap, pretty much. Don't care about this. There's no good shielding ruins in here. Nothing in here really uh, catches my interest. I'll note that after the Triscar, it's still speed that stuff recess, I guess. I'm back from the Triscar after the orcs took the staff. I heard about that good man lost their lives, but I hope it was worth it. Yes, my lady, they delayed the orcs so I could get the heart of the volcano and tell her what you happened. Sorcerers, I never heard of them. There were rumors about new masters of pride, but it seems they have two. Thanks for everything. You must continue your hunt now that you, um, you know what you're looking for. I'll avenge your man. Alright, so, um, here's the thing. I'm basically gonna, gonna go back to Machiel, I guess. And we're gonna, just gonna go check out, uh, ruin shops and stuff like that. And Last Hope, and the Fatur or Shatur and Elvia and all that. Basically gonna go look to see if I can find some better infusions or ruins and all that crap. I might go to the Lost Motion too, but I usually do that just before the final dungeon. of use to you. I only have a couple of nice things in here. There's a crystal shard. I'm not still there. I figure there's like some sort of advanced quest of her, but I have yet to find it. People are talking about it in the forums, apparently about like a new quest, I guess, regarding her. And I'm not really finding any good infusions or anything. Alright, well, there's last hope out of the way. I can't visit the uh, um, Zigger because they're anti magic and I'm magic. I may not find anything, which is probably going to happen, I guess. We'll find probably nothing. But I do want to check out these uh, these places for like, the ruins and infusions because they are important to um, get to this point if they're available. The room master has nothing. And of course it's only just the ruins in Elvia. Shalorn don't like infusions. Go to Durf. Have I never been back to Durf yet? Interesting, I never actually came back to Durf. There's a healing infusion, but that's about the only good thing in there.
Only two more, Angolan and Fatur, or Chatur rather. Into Angloin we go. Loading, loading, loading. I don't know if Lonely has anything to say now. I've been back and forth and all that. Nope, nothing to say. Too bad I don't really have any uh, magical rings. I could probably put like this stuff in there. But oh well, never found them, I don't think. There's the alchemist. He offers me nothing really. So that's pretty much it for um, here, I guess. Oh, I can prove my town mastery. So I can actually find my uh, staff comet up to 1.3. That's kind of useful. And apparently I leveled and I wasn't paying attention to it. All right, let's go down here. Chant of resistance up to 13%. That's, you know, that's decent. I'm, I'm actually wondering if I actually should have gone for this one, Chant Fortitude, but Chant resistance will be useful. I, you know, it is useful. Over here, let's get this. A bit more cunning. Still got that carrier point I have to use. But. The category point aside, my character is uh, six levels away from uh, being fully decked out. Level 50 is the maximum level, and I almost made it. There we go, herbalist. And nothing, so no regeneration fusions or anything of value, I guess. So waste my time going through all the shops just to see if there's anything that could you know, be better than what I currently have. Oh well. Do 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 Ah, uh, well, that was a fairly good run, I guess. At this point, we've managed to get through one over or pride of Dundee Barve Alchemist quests. The only thing really left to do is win the game at this point. P kill free orc prize and win the game. I could do Sluggish Nest, but I don't really care about that. Let's jump in here real quick and I'll charge up my darkness energy, because you know, wandering about everywhere is just killing my darkness energy.
I'm actually wondering if I should put a couple more points into Twilight. For those who like haven't really noticed, um, I've basically gone this like far without with only one in Twilight. And you know what? I can actually increase this to get more negative energy per you know boost. So I may want to do that. Charge this up. Okay. I mean, the benefits of having more Twilight is that I can use them. The Twilight ability is, is you know, like the ram buckle, whatever I go through. But anyhow, that's enough for this episode. I've done quite a bit, and I hope you've enjoyed, so take care.